the audio should be on now. My mic was not co connected to the to the computer. Yeah, uh, we're back. We're we're all here, and yeah, I know I know about the no audio. Let me know if you can hear me now though, because that should be fine now. Hopefully, right? Yeah, should be all good now. Please do let me know though. All right, uh, Panda Man Pete in the chat. Yeah, you can hear. Sweet, sounds good. Before before we get to Panda Man Pete though, I saw the mod of the channel Axe Patel saying, "I just finished my last university exam ever, dude." I assume that's the one you were studying for yesterday, and congratulations, man. That's a big big step for sure. Huge congrats, and also. Huge congratulations for pulling that six star Nick last night, but don't have an AG or T5CC. That's all good, man. You got the first step of the problem solved. You just need to awaken Nick and then rank him eventually. And, you know, those will come eventually. But pulling the character is, is a pretty big step for sure. Panda Man Pete saying, greetings. Dude, welcome to the chat. A pathetic god in the chat. M Ray's in the chat. We're going to be talking about M Ray's sheet shortly. And Panama and Pete saying can hear you now, but Panama and Pete, can you hear me over the sound of making keyboards? Is that that's my real question here? Uh, what champs are good for Act Six, Chapter Two? Uh, F and F Witty. There's a couple of challenging stuff in Act Six, Chapter Two. I would say. A lot of the, the generically powerful champions in the game are going to be good for a lot of the stuff in Axe Chapter 2, but in terms of like specific counters, you probably want to counter to Do Not Go Gentle, and you also probably want to counter to the champion boss, to, to various various combinations and various nodes of the champion boss. So uh, for Do Not Go Gentle, obviously Ghost and Quake are some of the best options because they either allow you to kill the champion, kill the enemy without landing hits, or uh, they're you know super easy to intercept with, but that would be my go-to's for for do not go gentle, which is a really challenging note in six point two point five. And on top of that, for the champion, obviously the mystics are pretty good. Uh, you know, um, Symbia Supreme, Sorcerer Supreme, both of the Supremes are are pretty solid for that. Uh, Dragon Man's amazing for the last ten percent of him, even if you. Uh, even if you don't, you know, want to really play around with uh, with his mechanics, but yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty much it as far as the Axe Chapter Two is concerned. Brandon McGuire saying notifications went out late. At least they went out though. I have every day when notifications go out is a day to be grateful for. Panda and Pete saying, should I rank three Gwenpool? Pete, why? I mean, sure, but. But I get, I guess, I suppose. What are your other options? If I swear, if you say like, you have a kingpin or a mole man or a crossbones, and you're just ranking Gwenpool over him, I'm gonna be a little upset at you, Pete. Might do some keyboard stuff today. Got a project I'm working on. Pete. We love you, man. Keep ghosting like you do. I was I was feeling a little down today in Alliance Wars because I was I died to the the stunning reflection note, not stunning reflections. It's a, it's the same damn note, right? Window of opportunity stun stunning reflection is the same damn thing. And I was like, for a second, I thought if I was carrying ghost here, would I have died? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Made me a little sad inside. Uh, I have a kingpin and an undo falcon. Pete, Pete, stop that. Is Red Mags worth the rank three for Thronebreaker? His undupe, absolutely, any day. Abso, abso freaking lutely. Mike Grath, yes sir, any damn day I would rank him. But let's get into the sheets because we got a lot of work to do today. And starting off by a sheet that I reportedly missed 
uh, a submission by Emery that I reportedly missed. And it's sheet number 59. Let me pull up number 59. And I'm going to be also taking some just handwritten notes because it's been a little bit of a pain going through the actual streams trying to figure out the timestamp locations. So I'm just going to be taking some time notes every time I uh, every time I open a sheet so I can just you know use those to put in the timestamps. All right, so sheet number 59, it's Emre's part three. And he has done most of the variants, minus variant one. Act five is done. Act six completion is not done yet. Interesting. Six of exploration is not done yet. 7.1 completion is not done. Abyss completion is done. Interesting, interesting. And the Cavalier, looking to do variant one, act six completion, 7.1 completion, I understand. And long sports defense matters. Interesting. Okay. I now that I'm looking for looking through the sheet, I definitely probably missed it. So let me put on the screenshot opening screen and we can go through the screenshots. Embry, I hope you're still in the chat because I might have some follow up questions. In the chat though, we got um Metal Sonic dude saying, I heard 6.2 champion counters and I didn't hear the best option. Who's the best option, Metal Sonic dude? Um, she Hulk. I I don't think She Hulk is the best is the best option for a lot of people. Generally speaking, just having to master that spacing, it's gonna take a lot of revives out of people. I just don't think. I think it's best to go with. A safer easier to use option in, in a lot of cases all right we are done with the screenshot openings and I finished abyss before act 6 so I have t5 CC immediately dude that's really smart that is really really smart it's a good point okay and you have also put down your choices and Hey there again, some changes happen after opening 12 5 stars and 2 6 stars and some awakening and rank up gems after finishing Act 5 exploration regarding to the section Havoc or Colossus, SIG 40 plus 55 6 stones could help me more in Act 6 at rank 4. Also duped 6 star OG Black Panther, do you have any expectations that it could be rank 3 worthy? I have no idea when it comes to the future buffs. It could be good and it could also be Nova. Also a long shot came and I happen to have a rank five gem. I know you're biased, so might not be the best per person to ask, but should I do it or wait for Claire? I vaguely remember that question, so maybe I did not skip it. Have some skill, a science, and a cosmic and a generic awakening gem laying around. Can't decide which skill should benefit from it the most. Elsa Mole and Kingpin. Kingpin is, is probably the most beneficial if you have the six stones for him. Also, if you see anything in other classes, would be great as I'm overwhelmed as of who I should use it on. Many thanks, dude. Always. And also, thank you so much for the submission, and I'm really sorry for, for skipping it. Let me catch up on chat real quick. And we'll get back to the sheet. Spider Gwen, right? MSD. <laughs> Cam, should I use a generic on my 5 star Omega? I can stick to 100 him if I do, or do I put it into Nick Fury? I'm stumped. Uh, King has 235. It's really easy for me that decision. If you run 5 out of 5 deep wounds, and don't run Liquid Curse Double Edge. I would lean heavily towards um, uh, towards Nick Fury. If you do run Liquid Courage and Double Edge, and you probably don't run Deep Wounds because the mastery points are taken up by the, the suicide masteries, I would be leaning very strongly towards Omega and putting all the six into it. Finished Abyss before Act 6, so yeah, the, the T5CC thing. That's pretty smart. Omega and Nick though. Mystic is safer 100%. Yeah. Havoc or Colossus? Dude, Colossus. Uh, we'll, we'll see about the sheet in, in a second there. 
She-Hulk was so broken with the heavy chain from the combo. I did my first run as with the rank 2. Yeah, me too. I missed it. She-Hulk, kind of hot though, not gonna lie. Panman Pete, she's out of your league, man. Actually, I already put Longshot to rank 5. Couldn't wait. Figured it would be good for Act 6, Domino, because of his ability accuracy. It doesn't always work out that well. Or, the worst case, he's good for endless fun. So, for Domino, he doesn't work out super well because he has abilities that have so he he does have a super high base ability accuracy but he also has abilities that just have a native chance to proc like the the gaining of the of the lucky passives when he's dexing or just blocking he has a he has a chance for that to happen and that chance can still fail and when that chance fails you still do take the damage but uh he's pretty decent for domino your parries will not fail though, so that's that's just a factor to keep in mind. That's a tall phone. We have seven champs per row. That is a tall phone. What kind of phone is that? Is that like a? That's very interesting. I've never seen. It's very interesting. Someone was saying in the chat. Welcome, chat man. That is a t tall phone, yeah. Um, so they rank up Falcon and Crossbones. I feel they do the same thing in different ways. If that makes sense, I don't know who would be better. Christopher, Christopher Medeiros? I would be leaning heavily towards Falcon if your focus is Alliance Wars. But uh, Crossbones, I would I would generally be ranking him for like questing content, act content, or... Um, just like regular everyday use even with for aq i would be ranking crossbones over falcon but falcon is is probably the winner in lines wars does he happen to play on his television dude what is this phone <laughs> the truth hurts <laughs> cam you're the man dude the terminator welcome to the chat do you watch any anime i i'm gonna talk about anime in a second but uh, i'm not a huge huge fan of a lot of anime the S10. Okay. Alright. Interesting. I used to have an Xperia. I love that phone. Xperia 5. I... I used to have a... Yeah, I think I borrowed my friend's Xperia for like a, a couple of months. Uh, a couple of years ago. I, I miss Sony phone. I miss Sony Ericsson phones. Those were those were the times. All right, so let's talk about this roster. Um, Falcon's better because of his guaranteed AR. Um, I think Falcon is more reliable because of his guaranteed AR. And in like situations like war, you do want that guaranteed. Did you see the Xperia Play? Basically a PSP, but a phone. I miss PSPs. Okay, so let's talk about this roster. And I or I've already forgotten what the actual questions were. Havoc or Colossus, Sig forty plus fifty five Sigs, and Dupe six star OG Black Panther. OG Black Panther, I have no idea if he's gonna be good. That's just uh, the nature of the beast with a lot of these buffs, especially recently. They could be good. They can be awful, just worthless, like Nova. And long shot we already talked about. All right, and you already ranked up long shot. So let's take a look at your top champions. Somebody just honking outside. Interesting, interesting. In most scenarios, I would be leaning towards Colossus. The caveat being, this is like a tiny, minute caveat that if you don't already have champions that have some sort of energy resist. Havoc does have a pretty decently high energy resist. And I do value energy resist a lot, especially in some way like Guardian who can have just significant portions of it. So yeah. Uh, in a lot of scenarios, I would be leaning towards Colossus, especially if you can get his Sig up. You can just take him uh, take him up against any any matchup that's like rapidly inflicting you with any of those debuffs he's immune to. 
like a Mephisto matchup, but the Colossus at high sick is like heaven. It's a, it's amazing. It's incredible. And for your skill champs, it's it's pretty easy for me to go with Kingpin in terms of uh, needing sig, needing awakened ability, and needing higher sig. So that would be my call there. Mole Man is fine without it, and I think Elsa was your other option, and Elsa is also fine without it. I played my first game on my PSP. Yeah, I miss PSPs. Uh, did you get my? Did I get my vaccine? I I have not yet. It's not our turn yet. My wife did though, so it's uh, a little confusing here. And they've also paused uh, that particular vaccine's distribution in some states because of some side effects. Uh, thankfully, my wife didn't get any of those side effects, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So far, she hasn't. Uh, a little concerned, but. You know, we're doing what we can. I'm driving and listening right now. I heard from the uh, I heard the car horn and <laughs> thought I got honked. Yeah, stopped at a red light right there. Yeah, um, it's been it's been loud here, man. It's been loud here. It's hustling and bustling at this time of the day. Yeah, it was probably the first gaming phone. It was a sliding one too, where the controls were hiding were hidden behind the screen. Dude, that sounds really cool. By the way, I'm at 6.3.2. I'm waiting for War 2 and to finish Act 6. Okay, I think in Act 6, I can see you struggling. I can see you struggling against the Captain America Infinity War boss. If you don't have Ghost. I'm not sure if you do have Ghost or not. But if you do have ghosts, just take in ghosts, take in hood, and you'd be good to go. The rest of it, though, I think you can just go through the, the quote-unquote easier lanes and just get through the, the rest of the pass. Also, versus the Grand Master. Versus the Grand Master, I think you, you got some, some decent options even here with... Sunspot and even Nick Fury, just just a lot of a lot of solid options. Doctor Doom is amazing against the Grandmaster. You you have a lot of health to work with. Fury boss is next. Okay, Fury boss. I had basically the most success against using mutants, and I think you're gonna you're gonna do just fine. I think you can just try and sunspot him down. Colossus could help in that in that Fury boss fight too. Because of the, the immunity. Longshot is worth rank 5. Wait, what? Is it worthy to rank 5 Red Goblin? Doc Doom Boom. Depends on your situation. Um, if you have Odin, more so, yes. If you don't, he probably needs a decently higher sig to get... To get benefit of that that secondary buff that he has going on for him. No wasp though. Ooh. I think no wasp is gonna sting a little. Got my vaccine a month and a bit ago. It's a good time, dude. You're having a good time. If you don't have a wasp. I think you can still play it. I think you can still just slow play it with Ghost and skip your specials. It's going to be a lot longer, but I think you can still play around it. And just have the rest of your team there as well so you can sacrifice them before or after you go in with Ghost. Uh, okay, let me catch up on chat real quick. I love Havoc, Fury Boss is next. Okay, I have a rank three and a rank five, and I actually use both, dude. Pete, where do you use Havoc? I'm curious to know. I, I assume one of them goes on defense, right? Would Crossbones be a good option too? Haven't checked his buff much yet. For, are you talking about the cat boss? No, but for the rest of the paths, maybe. 
Maybe. If you can take him to high sick, he can just shred through a lot of the debuff happy pass. I need T1A to rank up my Aegon. My T2A are gonna expire soon, so will Kabam give AQ compensation? I hope so, because I'm also like running incredibly ro low on glory, and if I run low on glory, I might have to like I don't know the the potion situation at the start of the next next AQ like during that whole next AQ is gonna be a little rough. I hope they give some sort of uh, AQ compensation. I feel like a superhero. Uh, Pete, have you been watching? I have no idea if F. A W S is uh, false. That has to be an anime, right? I wish I had Aegon for Grandmaster. I remember using my rank two guillotine twenty ninety nine and rank five level one Nick. Have you been watching Invincible though? That's the question. I have been watching Invincible. Invincible is amazing. I love it, dude. If anybody has not watched Invincible, please do yourself a fa favor. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Okay, that's that does make a lot more sense. I, I'm bad with acronyms. What's your prediction on the Black Panther buff in May? I think they said he's going to be buffed to help progression pr progressing players rather than the Magneto-like God tier buff. I actually don't really trust uh, some of their intents with buffs. I, I think, for example, just speaking from like this month's experience, I think Crossbones' buff was kind of an accident that it ended up being the way it is. Like, I don't think the whole Fury stacking until infinite number of Furies was, was really intended with him. So I'm not I'm not quite sure if if I'm gonna trust the intent behind some of this, these buffs, especially because these buffs are just coming at such a high cadence that maybe they're not being as tested, um, you know, thoroughly as some other as some other characters, so they could he could end up being just incredible. He could end up being, I don't know, Nova or Daredevil Hell's Kitchen. So we'll see with him. Reaper Dragon, what's up, Cam dude? Welcome to chat. Uh, so I got Kabam blessed yesterday from the ten gifted Odins. I got and duped six Sir Jabari, dude. What the hell? Five Sir Odin, five Sir Sentinel, four Sir Jabari, and some other four stars. Make Jabari my first ever duped six star. Reaper Dragon. That's insanity. Speaking of insanity, from those same crystals, I'm not sure if y'all have seen Imagine Jim's um, little tweet yesterday. So I'm not sure if y'all are ready for this, but this was the tweet. Ow, my ears. So this was the tweet, and imagine Jim popping the compensation crystals, pulling a six star Captain America Infinity War, and then he's spinning the next one. He's spinning the next one, and just keep an eye on what happens here. What? Excuse me? What? This seems rigged. <laughs> oh, you're asking what are the odds of that? Well, the odds of that are like 0 0.00037%, something like that. I actually did some of the math on it, so uh, that that was kind of the odds on, on that happening. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Good stuff. I was so confused. Have a good day, Cam and Chat, dude. Thank you for, for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Brandon, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have the five star in the queue sometimes on the incinerate path for Mephisto. Yeah, that Mephisto kind of sucks. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier, I've also been watching. Some of the episodes were kind of like inconsistent for me, but. They have kind of picked up for sure. What is Invincible? Invincible is 
Bas the best way I can describe it is like an animated version of The Boys. Pretty close to it. On Netflix. Not on Netflix. On Amazon Prime. Dude, I thought Invisible was just going to be another Teen Titans sort of kid superhero <laughs> show right up until the end of the first episode. No spoilers, but yeah, that end of the first episode is incredible. Uh, I got 7 3 stars and 4 4 stars. Yeah, the, the, the odds of that are insane. Was the 6 star cap? <laughs> Was that 6 star cap? Yeah, 6 star cap on the first crystal and then duping the 6 star cap on the second crystal. Oh, some next level luck? Yeah. Getting Sam Champ back to back has happened to me before. This wasn't the good champ. <laughs> Poop of the great. Yeah. I, I felt the pain in that for sure. But Emre, that's kind of my suggestions for you. Go with hype. Go with Colossus in the Mutants and go with uh, Awakening Kingpin for the, for the most part, in, in most cases. All right. Let's move on to the next sheet. Also, just as far as the, the rest of the champions are concerned, just I think I think you're doing fine, and congrats on the long shot. Gotta go, bye, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Miguel saying notifications have been a little late, but I'm glad I catch you now. Thanks for the input of Saturday. Definitely will be ranking Guardian and putting at least 156 into him. Miguel, dude. I understand about notifications, they're kind of the bane in my existence, but I'm super glad you found it helpful. I appreciate it. And also congrats on the, the eventual Guardian rank up. Alright, moving on to sheet number 82. And this is from Slayer of God, another YouTube percent. Interesting. So let me put down the timestamp marked for this. 329. And this is sheet number 82. I have, a, I have a whole pen and pencil situation here. Thanks, man. I promise I won't send the part four from part four form for a while. Dude, don't worry about it. If you have any follow up questions, please do send them. I do enjoy and appreciate the, the form submissions. All of them. I really do. All right. Okay, moving on to Slayer of God's sheet. And he has done all the variants, Act 5, Act 6 completion, he has explored Act 7.1, completed Labyrinth, completed Abyss, he's Thronebreaker. I think Slayer is really looking for me to tell him a way to get Cosmic Ghost Trader as a 6 star. I think that's, that's what his real goal here is. And he has... Uh, he's put down for his goals, for his future goals, I assume, to explore variant 2, explore variant 5, explore variant 6, explore, finish exploring act 6, and explore abyss. Looking for a better option, skill cav EQ, incursions matters, and prestige does not. How good do we think they'll make Black Panther? Pulled him today from a 6 star crystal, I'm kind of pumped. I would not be holding it my breath for for anything regarding the buffs uh, until the buff is in the game and you can play around with him i would be very hesitant especially after uh Kibam's track record recently with some of the some of the reworks all right so we're gonna be switching to the screenshot sheet not the sheet the, the screen and taking a look at all the screenshots submitted by slayer of god all right Okay, opening up the screenshots, and they say that they run suicides religiously. Interesting. I mean, uh, I'm still not saying not to be excited about the new champ pool. Uh, I'm just saying that don't invest resources into him. Don't rank him up. Don't do anything with him until the buff is in the game. Because some of the recent ones have been murky at best. Okay. Looking at Slayer's roster, seeing if he got any questions or any particular zones he wants advice in. So he's basically looking to explore Abyss, which is probably the, the big stretch goal in front of him. Uh, new animations and all, only one with uh, new animations were was Daredevil and he stunk. Yeah. 
Are you saying it was a bad idea for me to rank three miles? Yes. Absolutely. It, it, if the, the purpose of this whole stream series is to give like rank up advice, giving rank up advice to, to rank up or awaken a champion that's whose buff we don't know what it's going to look like is, is probably a bad idea. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Moving on to the submissions and let's check them out. Let's all check the, the submissions out, see what's going on here and check out Slayer's roster. So let's see where the top of the roster is. Okay, so there's a Cosmic Ghost Rider, Moss 2021 mags. <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe. I hope so. I don't know. Zero Frost Ninja saying, how are you doing this fine afternoon? Dude, I'm better now that you're here, man. I appreciate the, the kind words. The fact that J. Jonah Jameson voices Omni-Man in, 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 in Invincible is <laughs> the perfect casting. He also kind of looks like J. Jonah Jameson, so that's even better, I feel. It's a, it's a fun show, man. It's a fun, fun show. I hope so. I have a six star miles and the science T5CC. Man, if they just left Daredevil's region alone, he would have probably been fine. I'm not sure if he would have been fine, to be honest. His damage stinks a lot. And, yeah, I don't know. They just, they just really didn't go far enough for them. Okay, so Slayer's roster... We're looking at the top of his roster at the moment. For Abyss, let's just do the Abyss checklist first. Abyss, he's got Aegon. He is missing Torch. Okay, he's missing Torch. He's got a Cosmic Ghost Rider, and I'm sure he's going to be using Cosmic Ghost Rider in Abyss. He's got Corvus. Not really the best Abyss option, but... He can do some of the fights. Warlock, again, not the best Abyss option, but he can do some of the fights. He's got Nick Fury, who is one of the horsemen. So Doom is missing. Torch is missing. As like a Doom replacement situation, though, he has got Symbiote Supreme. For some fights, he does work pretty well as well. And he's got Void as somewhat of a Torch situation. Torch replacement. Just got here and lo you're looking at mine. Dude, welcome to the chat, man. Welcome, welcome. I have a 6 on a Weekend Torch. Yeah, I'm going to be getting to the rest of the roster real quick here. So your Torch is not ranked, right? Your 6 on Oh. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. There he is. Yeah. I was just blind. Silver Gamer. If the other region was kept the same, he at least would have been decent with suicides. Since he could heal from his rage debuffs. Maybe. Maybe he would have been decent. But he just... I don't know, man. He... I, I got some, some fundamental problems with Daredevil, I feel. The more I play around with him. Okay. Slayer... Let me take a look at the rest of your roster. You've got an apocalypse. You said prestige does not matter. Alliance where defense matters. Interesting. And you're also looking for a better option for the skill cav EQ. And I'm not quite sure if you need a better option for the skill cav EQ, considering that you do have a Nick Fury and they reverted back the nodes. All right. Mm -mm. And you also said that you run the Liquid Courage and Double Edge Masteries religiously. I can treat you the rest if that helps. If you feel like there's information that's not provided in here and it could be provided in the tweets, that 
that helps as well if you if you feel like doing that but I can I can probably just go off again like go off based on what's provided here for for some part okay For Alliance Wars defense, that you mentioned that it matters to you. It does come down to what your Alliance runs. But there is strong defenders in your roster. So for example, Tigra, even on Awakened, she can get some kills here and there. So that could be a decent rank up, even just to rank 2. Apocalypse again it comes down to your alliance and whether you already have an apocalypse on defense if you do then it would be obviously not as as necessary but apocalypse could be a decent de defensive rank up and thing down in the bottom he could also be amazing for it and you also already have a dragon man and i hate dragon man on defense and i also hate myself when it comes to alliance wars so those are all solid options. Apocalypse though, he would be a rank up I would go for. I, I'm not quite sure if you're just waiting on getting resources for him because if you do run Liquid Courage and Double Edge, he does turn basically every mutant into a decently uh, suicide friendly character. And you have Archangel, you have Sunspot, who are both decent to way above decent horsemen. Is there any rank up that you're considering and maybe you're on the fence with that you want me to convince you for or against? Because I think that could be that could be a way to, to move forward here. And there's an ambulance as well. Let me put on the So the ambulance passed. I put the be right back screen on just while it was passing by. Okay, so very casual 1BG tier 4 Alliance Wars. I don't think uh, I meant to select select Alliance Wars defense. Okay, all right. No worries. Yeah. I'm waiting to invest in APOC and Wolverine. Those are pretty amazing with Liquid Courage and Double Edge. Professor X seems pretty good for Abyss. He can be. He can be in certain scenarios. He can be in certain scenarios for sure, but he's also kind of situational. And some of the takedowns I've seen on YouTube are also using the the Mr. Fantastic power gain back mechanic for mutants. And that synergy significantly benefits Professor X. And it's not that easy to carry. So I'm a little iffy on suggesting Professor X for all Abyss fights. Wait, what happened again? What's going on? <laughs> All right. Um, the guide, member of the channel, saying that's a pretty dope account. Congrats. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty sweet account, and also he's got a cosmic ghost rider. Um, missing a star though. Slayer, when are you gonna be getting him? I'm just I'm just I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> But yeah, it's a really sweet account. And also Spider Hand. That's a super sweet, super sweet rank 3. Dude, Professor X bypasses Ghost Mist now? He didn't before? I think... Did he not before? I think that was always intended to happen. So... I don't think he's bypassing Ghost Mist because of his... Charges. He's bypassing it because of his... Uh, Psionic blasts. Psionic blasts cannot be missed. Something like that. On the fence about awakening my six star Aegon and taking him to rank three six sixty ish, or could have messed with my six star Stealth Spidey, but I don't use him much at all. Shady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Mm, 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 mm. Six star Aegon taking him to rank three, six sixty ish. That is the advice I do give a lot of people who already have a five star Aegon. That if they have Abyss left to explore, and they have, if they have multiple lanes of Abyss left to explore, a 6-star Aegon, even a 620, is going to end up being cheaper in the long run for Abyss content. But it comes down to how much you value that, that cheaper clear of Abyss. Because that Aegon at 6-star rank 3, you're pretty much only going to be using him in incursions from there on. Seems like somebody's dying because ambulances are just a plenty here. Um, yeah. Let me double check what's going on in chat. I wouldn't awaken or invest in stealthy, especially if you run Liquid Courage Double Edge and you don't care about prestige, I would not awaken or invest in stealthy at all. Uh, she should be able to phase because she's technically not in the, the, this dimension. Oh well, Kabam isn't accurate anyways. I think psionic blasts are meant to hit somebody who's not in this dimension or something like that. That's, that's That was kind of the intent, the, the intent behind them. I think they started by introducing them in Emma's SP1. So like you kind of get hit by it when you're using Ghost. Even if you're phasing because of psionic blast, and that has always happened, so that was kind of the interaction. It's me, I'm dying, dude. Me too, deep down inside. She should be able to fit. Yeah, I, I read that already. And but they weren't an ability he had before. His spotlight says nothing about it. I think it's just a psionic blast ability thing. It was it was included in in Emma. It was included in. Uh, Strife and Professor X. That's kind of the, the champions who have it, right? But Slayer... It comes down to how much you value that cheaper Abyss clear. We're all st we all start dying once we're born. Dude, that's deep. That's so deep, man. I wouldn't invest in... in um, in Aegon, if if that cheaper clear doesn't mean that much to you, because I I highly doubt you're gonna be using that Aegon outside of incursions after being done with Abyss. Aegon, I feel, is a super overrated character because of how amazing he is for ever level content, but how far he falls off afterwards. I think those resources can be much better invested in somebody like. Um, Mole Man or Kingpin or Crossbones. I think those are the, the or most importantly Falcon. He he would be amazing for you. I feel. I just feel stuck right now, but not sure what I what I what to invest in specifically. I get that feeling. I definitely do get that feeling. I think your roster though is decently ready to take on more paths of, of Abyss. I think the only missing piece here is Doc Doom and yeah Doctor Doom is the only missing piece in the roster and I think you can be ready to take on to take on Abyss at the moment to take on more paths of Abyss. Do you feel stuck in any particular like paths or lanes of the variants you mentioned or any uh, any lanes of Act 6.2 or anything like that? Because I, I think you mentioned that you have not finished exploring Act 6, right? Yeah. Act 6 exploration, variant 2, variant 5, and variant 6. For variant 6, let's check out your villains first, real quick. You've got a Magneto Void. A little light on villains, right? A little bit light on villains. You got a Sim Supreme. Is Sim Supreme a villain? I'm not sure if if he is. All right, so you just tweeted your full roster. Let's check that out real quick. And all right. Let me just make sure that's 
all muted. Oh my goodness, okay. Twitter encoding is worse than YouTube's, I feel. Okay, let me pause it. Oh, okay, pausing it. I haven't explored any of X6. Do you have a ghost? No ghosts around, huh? Okay, now, nah, there's the ghost. I think you're ready for X6. But I also understand the, the lack of inclination to want to explore X6 because it's just so long and so grueling and so BS at, at so many junctions of, of the act itself. So um, I can understand not wanting to go through with the full exploration just yet. Twitter really butchers quality. It really does. Yeah. Looks like some of my videos. I've seen you quake. You can definitely do act six. Question is, do you want to quake half of it to be cheap? It's true. Yeah. If you're good with quake, dude, you kind of got this. You kind of got act six, you know, already done almost. So this doc arc, I would rank him up. He's awakened. I would rank up Doc Ock. That would be a rank up suggestion right there. Even even if you are running Liquid Courage and Double Edge pretty often, that would be a rank up that I would not regret. Got an awakened Luke Cage, Papa Luke, Big Papa. Long shot is gonna help you in abyss. A uh, rank. Let me see if you got a long shot ranked up already. You don't, right? Not looking stupid here. Okay, you don't have a long shot ranked up already. Long shot is gonna actually help you take the spot of some of the fights that, that Doom is gonna be that Doom was gonna be the main character for. Long shot can can do extremely well in some fights in Abyss. So that could be another suggestion there. My will is strong, I could do it. Dude, yeah man. Gonna have to hit up J Nick about Doc Ock. Doc Ock is pretty sweet. You can also hit up J Nick about Longshot. He's he's a fan of both of them. Is it okay to send a forum for rank up, rank up advice even if I might not be able to attend the stream? A, B, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, try to at least put the timestamps for every form review in the description down below so if you happen to miss the stream you can catch it on VOD just take a look at the, the descriptions see the timestamps see if your name is mentioned there and yeah just skip forward to the, the, the spot your name was mentioned in. Venom could be a good utility rank up but I can also see why you wouldn't be ranking him up because of the liquid version double edge apocalypse obviously you mentioned Immortal Hulk is kind of a sleeper hit for me. I would be really tempted to rank up a six star But I also am hesitant to recommend it to other people, but he does work extremely well with liquid version double edge extremely well Let me mute this. Can you all hear the, the audio from this? I hope not Uh, go for it. I learned quick for flow and they removed it the next season, but she was so good for act six. I Wish I learned quick one day I've been playing around with quick for years now. I'm still pretty trash with her Slayer of gods Are these all rank four or five stars? Do you have a lot of rank fours? No, these have to be rank threes, right? Angela might be rank four though. I'm not I'm, I can't tell Croy H, dude, welcome to chat. I have a rank 2 long shot, I love playing him so much. Me too, I have a rank 3 long shot and I love playing him a ton. I wish he was not awakened. Alright, and the rest of the roster, there's a Kingpin. Kingpin kind of catches my eyes. I do like him a ton. So I was loving Kingpin until I died in war with him? I want to rank up Falcon. 
Falcon is generally more useful than all the other skill champions right now in Alliance Wars. Kingpin has his uses. Uh, Mole Man has his uses. They're rank three. Okay, sweet. I was like, this are this is a lot of rank fours. Um, Mole Man has his uses, but Falcon is generally the most consistent. I also have died with Falcon multiple times, but uh, that's probably because of me being a scrub. I see a She-Hulk. I spy a She-Hulk. She-Hulk could be a decent rank up. Not as much good synergy between She-Hulk and Liquid Courage and Double Edge, though, as much as somebody like Immortal Hulk. Slayer, I think you should play around with Immortal Hulk. I think you're gonna like him. He kind of grows on you in a in a weird, in a weird immortal way. All right, the rest of the roster, taking a look at it, and also Slayer. I know that you do enjoy fun champions, and Immortal Hulk could be an extremely fun champion. Extremely fun. Okay, the rest of the roster, Groot. Hopefully, you'll get you'll get a buff at some point. I watch your war with usually. Yeah, um, I've been sucking. I've been sucking pretty bad. Ugh, Alliance Wars. I don't want it anymore. But Slayer, those would be my advices. To you. Advices. Don't invest in Aegon unless if you value the savings in Abyss. The savings in Abyss are not going to be insignificant. Uh, they're going to be they're going to be pretty hefty. I feel like maybe twenty to thirty percent less cost for you going through Abyss with uh, Abyss, Abyss with Aegon at rank three. So that could be a, a pretty big saving for you. But uh, so is the cost of awakening a six star that you're probably not going to be using afterwards. Can we still use the same submission form? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just put in your name and they all show up chronologically. I've thought very hard about iHawk. I'm tempted. It's kind of fun, man. Okay, Slayer, take your rank 1 6-star iHawk into the Cavi Q science quest. Play around with him and that's probably how he's going to feel outside of the Cavi Q science quest. When he's at rank three, just saying, it'd be fun, it'd be a good time. Kind of grows on you. I wish the stun off the SP one was a hundred percent. I appreciate it, but very helpful, dude. Thank you for your submission, man. Really appreciate it. I'm not sure if I have the time for another form. I don't think I'm gonna have the time for another form today. I'm gonna be having to head out. Um, for some lunch soon but once again thanks y'all for submitting your forms coming to hang out in the chat the the submission form is going to be available in the description down below as it always have been if you missed the stream and i covered your your submission sheet you can find timestamps for your name and the time that the sheet was covered in in the description of the vod's of the streams and thanks y'all for watching Thanks all for hanging out. Thanks all for submitting the forums. And I'll catch y'all later. Bye!